We do have more breaking news to tell you about a shooting suspect holed up inside this West Hollywood apartment building hours after the standoff with sheriff's deputies started. They say that he shot through the wall of his apartment, hitting a woman next door. KCAL's Joy Benedict is live at Santa Monica Boulevard in La Brea Avenue, where it's been a tense day all day long, and Joy shot through a wall. Yeah, absolutely unsuspecting. At least that's what investigators believe. The woman simply in her kitchen when the bullets came through the wall. But as we mentioned, we're here right now at La Brea and Santa Monica. You can see they have this entire area roped off. It has been like this since about 9 o'clock this morning. And it's not just this block. It's about a three-block radius. As we are told, deputies are inside trying to make contact with the person they think opened fire. Some tense moments in West Hollywood after gunfire rang out inside this apartment building, injuring at least one person. That's where I live. I'm like, uh, what the heck's going on? So I ran downstairs. TJ Rosdilski didn't hear the gunfire, but neighbors saw what happened next as the LA County Sheriff's Department descended quickly, realizing the gunfire came from an apartment on the fourth floor. The woman shot was in her kitchen when deputies say the bullets pierced through her wall. She was shot twice and rushed to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Hope the, um, the, the woman in question is all right and that uh, no one else gets hurt today. It's pretty scary. The bullets going through the wall, I, I would say reduce the velocity of the bullet and um, decrease the, the deadliness. Investigators say the bullets came from the apartment next door and they believe the shooter is still in there. We can confirm that deputies have heard noises and someone from inside that apartment complex trying to barricade the door. So we know that there's someone inside that location and we've been unsuccessful in trying to establish communication with them. But deputies say there were five shots fired. Two went through the neighbor's wall. Three bullets are unaccounted for. Investigators say it is unclear if the shooter is alone in the apartment or whether there may be another victim. That person inside that apartment complex has a girlfriend who stays in that location periodically. Um, but we're not we're not sure if that uh, girlfriend is at the apartment at this time. And as mental health experts and negotiators try and make contact, those who live here can't help but fear the worst and hope things end peacefully. It might be mental health related. I don't know what it is. I just hope everyone involved is all right. Really, it's just really sad. And that's what everybody out here is hoping is just that this does end peacefully. Now, there are still seven apartments that we are told that are evacuated. They are in close proximity to the apartment that they believe the shooter is, in fact, inside. It's not clear when they'll be able to get back in there. But again, this is still an ongoing negotiation as they are still trying to make contact with the person they believe opened fire early this morning. I'll send it back to you guys.